Okay. <laughs> I have a video game that's... It's kind of fun. But I've been playing it for a while because I wanted to tell you about it. Okay, hold on. The game is called Brutalism and you play as this absolutely adorable sniper rifle wielding robot lady. And I say lady because look at the distance between those legs. That is a bona fide woman, ladies and gentlemen. Right now you can get this game on Steam for the handsome price of $4.99 and it's made by the developer Stroboscop. Hesitating because I think that's how you say it. The other two titles this developer has on Steam is a game called Silvio, which is actually pretty well received, and then Silvio 2. Um, I don't know why I said actually, like, it's a sh 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 shocking that somebody made a good game, but... <laughs> um, these are horror games, so it seems weird that they would switch into a puzzle game. However, as you will hopefully see, this game is actually pretty- oh! For real though, it's creepy. It is. I'm almost certain the developers got inspiration for this game uh, based on this little child's toy here because playing it is a lot like shrinking down to about the size of an ant and walking around um, while trying to avoid Satan. The visual style for this game honestly is a big reason why I like it because it's obviously very simple but it's very colorful and there's something oddly relaxing about the almost light coming from behind glass colorful style in addition with the wind blowing gently and just the very simplistic nature of this game it's really relaxing actually just listen to that just listen Now I want you to imagine yourself as like an 80 year old person in a retirement community and uh, instead of them handing you like that, that really obnoxious half pencil they give you for like the ACT or the SAT and they make you play Sudoku, instead of that they hand you a pretty decent laptop, not crazy, you don't need it for this. And they give you this instead to do, right? Just to pass the time. What do you just think in that moment? Thank God I'm old. Thank you, Jesus, for it's like y'all wouldn't Jake Peg Jesus, you atheist. <laughs> Each stage in Brutalism starts you out in a sort of geometry paradise where you wander around amongst colored blocks until you find the portal which then takes you to kind of a geometry hell. And then once you reach this world, you're going to be using the Q and E keys on your keyboard because you can't remap the keys in this game. Not a big deal, you don't need to. And the reason you're raising and lowering bars is because you need to get to another portal which will then warp you out of this world back to the color world, except for in a different spot. Usually right next to the last piece or one of the pieces that you need to put together your rifle in order to kill this guy. See, this is just creepy. Remember how I talked about like being in a nursing home, just having a good time solving puzzles, right? Well, this legit might throw some old person into cardiac arrest so maybe let's not let's not have the elderly play this in, in nursing homes because this is just dang creepy look at this it's just weird why is <laughs> why is the devil in my puzzle game and his weirdness kind of puts this game into perspective i mean listen to the sound it makes once you get the last piece of your rifle <laughs> why what does it even mean? Five minutes until the funeral! <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm sitting. Are you serious?
Yep, sweetie, I just need to check one more company email. I'll be right out. Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, sweetie. Cool. It's a word in box noise. Dear sir or madam, effective immediately, your position will be phased out. Thank you for your contribution to the company. Thank you for your company. That isn't. I need this job. <laughs> what I mean, though, is I mean, like, what what good thing could come after hearing that? And indeed, something bad does follow that sound, because once you go back to the Geometry Underworld, you have to fight the floating head. And shooting him isn't as easy as it looks, as you'll be lining up the blocks to put yourself in a position to shoot. At the same time, that might line him up in a position to shoot you. Perhaps his blocks or his spit or whatever comes out of him could fly a little bit faster and make it a bit more of a challenge, but it's still tricky sometimes. And after you kill him by shooting the red square on his face, the world does this. It's eerie, right? And maybe I'm behind on the horror genre, but it really feels like, in my opinion at least, the developers at Stroboscop created really kind of a uniquely chilling platforming puzzle solving experience. There's a word I'm looking for that probably better describes the feeling I have when I play this game. Maybe uncomfortable is the word I'm looking for because here I am wanting to sit down and play a peaceful relaxing puzzle game and this game does a lot to make you really feel relaxed with the colors and the sunrise kind of light that's everywhere and then you kill this floating head in the underworld and you get this insane funeral music i mean it's i could almost summarize my thoughts in a verse from the bible in proverbs 14 13 which is even in laughter the heart may ache and at the end of joy may be grief. And what I mean is that what this game does so well in my opinion is how it, through its high aesthetic and visual storytelling, specifically the contrast between the world you start in that's super colorful, very, <laughs> serene. I'm running out of superlatives at this point. And then the contrast with going into the underworld and it being bleak and then the floating head and the creepy music once you kill him and the weird sound when you load your gun. You know, even down to what this game is at its core, which is essentially a puzzle platformer, which turns out to be a pretty straightforward experience playing this game. Uh, and that's a compliment, I mean that very highly. But I would imagine that somebody playing this might get the same feeling that somebody else gets doing, I don't know, playing Scrabble by themselves, which sounds extremely boring. My wife likes it, actually, so I can't hate. But I wonder how much more my wife would love Scrabble if every time she got a seven letter word, a beholder just exploded out of the game board and destroyed my neighborhood. That's kind of what it feels like to play Brutalism. And that kind of speaks to my reference of Proverbs like, you ever been hanging out at the beach while one of your friends is in critical condition in the hospital or somebody's struggling and you're having a good time? It's like, you can never have a completely awesome day, right? And Brutalism ain't about to let you peacefully blow off some steam working on a puzzle. But my opinion aside, this game does its thing so well. And to use a terrible phrase, it is what it is. This game does it. It does it. It do you. Do you. <laughs> there's a couple other things in this game that I didn't mention. Um, when you beat a level, there's a high score, but I'm the only one actually playing this apparently because when I beat level slimes I'll be the only one on the leaderboard so come at me fight me boy and for those of you that care it does have Xbox controller support but it really feels like it's made for keyboard I had a real hard time playing this with a controller and so with that said I would probably give this game and I know some of you hate reviews but I love I love numbers 
I would probably give this game, you consider the cost, what you get out of it, and the very original concept, I'd probably give it a solid 4 out of 5. This game's tight. And it is definitely challenging enough, uh, the, especially in the later levels. And this could be due to my aversion to puzzles in general. It is a little sleep-inducingly challenging at times, but this could be my own cowardice. Where others think harder, I just fall asleep, so... <laughs> Sorry, I said probably. I would. I am giving it a four. How about that? It, it Four. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, subscribe, like, and if you dislike it, thumbs down, reject firmly. Thank you so much. And if you want me to review something else, leave a little note in the comments. Thank you.